Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to retrieve an entity from the database table using find by ID method. Well, find by ID method is basically from crude repository interface. And find by ID method returns optional app type entity. All right. So look at here as name suggest find by ID method allows us to get or retrieve an entity based around the given ID from the database table. All right. Let's head over to the IntelliJ ID and let's see how to get or retrieve an entity based on the given ID from the database table using find by ID method. Well, let's head over to test class and here we are going to quickly write the JNU test case and we'll write the logic to retrieve an entity from the database table using find by ID method. Find by ID method. Alright, and let's annotate this method with add test annotation. Now let's head over to the MySQL workbench and let's see what is there in a products table. Well, here you can see we have one product record in the products table. Alright, now let's pass this ID 1 and retrieve this product by using find by ID method. Alright, it's pretty simple. Let's first declare here the ID. In our case, it is 1. So typically in real time project, this ID basically comes from the client. Now in order to test find by ID method, we simply hard code the ID as a one here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's declare a product object over here and then call product repository and it has find by ID method. All right. And look at here find by ID method takes ID type type long and it returns optional app type product okay just go ahead and select find by ID method here and just pass id to it and as find by ID method returns optional so we can simply call get method to get a product object from the optional type perfect now we got a product object by using find by ID method and if you can simply press control and you can click on find by ID method you can able to see that find by ID method is belongs to crude repository interface. Okay, let's go back to our code. Now let's run the this JNA test case and let's see how Hibernate will create a SQL query behind the scene for this statement. All right, let's run the JNA test case. So this is simply like we run the main method, right? So this JNA test case we simply run as a standalone to just check this piece of code all right look at here test passed and let's see the output of this JNA test case and here you can able to see hibernate generated select sql query okay so here select all these product columns from products table where product id equal to one okay so this is the basically hibernate generated sql query behind the scene for find by ID method. Well, whenever we have a requirement to retrieve an entity from the database table using Spring Data GPA, then you can go ahead and use find by ID method of crude repository interface. All right, and find by ID method internally uses Hibernate to generate SQL query like this. This is the select SQL query. All right, I will see you in the next lecture.